And now I want to dynamically render all the products from the database on the front end. I want to use my products property. And again, this is all the information from the database being passed down from our app.jsx. And what I need to do is use the map method to map through all of this information. And I'm going to specify a callback function with a parameter of product. And since we're using a map here, we're not going to use curly braces. What we need to use here are going to be normal parentheses only because we're using a map. And here I can create a div with a class of product. And inside of this opening div tag here, I want to create a key because we need a custom key for each product. To make sure each key for each product is unique, we want to use our product dot underscore ID. And again, this is coming from our database. Next, I want to create a div with a class of image container. And inside of this, I want an image element. And to dynamically render each image for each product, I want to use this same syntax again that I used for the key. Go ahead and paste it for the SRC. Make sure you have the closing bracket here. And instead of saying ID, I want to say image URL. Tap here for more.